Hi, I'm Matt Earls, IT Academy Principal at Overton High School, and we're about to talk about Title I. So what is Title I? Title I is a federal grant program designed to give educational assistance to students living in high poverty. Originated in 1965 when Congress passed the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, also known as the ESEA, and then reauthorized again in 2001 with the passage of No Child Left Behind. Reauthorized one more time in December of 2015 with the Every Student Succeeds Act with full implementation next year in 2017. So what's the purpose of Title I? The purpose of Title I is to ensure that all children have a fair, equal, and significant opportunity to obtain a high quality education and reach, at minimum, proficiency on challenging state academic achievement standards and state academic assessments. So what does Title I mean in Metro Nashville Public Schools? An MNPS school must have a minimum of 50% of the school's population identified as economically disadvantaged for eligibility for Title I funding for this 2016-2017 school year. To determine the 2016-2017 school year percentage, MNPS utilized three things. Information gleaned from the Community Eligibility Provision, or the CEP form. The free and reduced meal application, or direct certification for all students enrolled by the 40th day in the 2015-2016 school year. So all Title I schools must adhere to the following requirements. Number one, a parent's right to know. You're entitled to know what is being planned for our school, and you're entitled to know how our funds are currently being spent for all of our students. Number two, student progress. You have the right to review the school's state report card and student progress information. Student progress will be reviewed and discussed during conferences, other forms of communication, and events. Number three, school status. You have the right to know how your child's school is performing on tests and if the school and district have achieved their goals for student achievement and growth. Number four, and most importantly, safe school. You have the right to send your child to a safe school. And the best news of all, every Metro National Public School is designated as a safe school. You may change schools if your child is a victim of a violent offense while at school or in a school unidentified as safe. Now we're going to talk about the parent compact and parent involvement. Our school community has developed a parent compact and a parent involvement policy which outlines student, staff, and parent responsibilities that will be in place for this 2016-2017 school year. Our school relies on support from our parents to help raise achievement. The administration, staff, and students extend an invitation to all parents and community members to partner with our school. Parents can support our school by attending family activities, conferences, and volunteering to be a member of our school planning committee. Title I expenditures are used for the purpose of student achievement, staff development, and to build parent capacity to better support their child's educational attainment. Title I funds are to be used to enhance the regular school program and should be consistent with the School Improvement Plan, or the SIP. These expenditures must be necessary, reasonable, and most importantly, allowable. Parent involvement expenditures go to things like supplies, open house, hospitality, training, and communication. For professional learning expenditures, conferences and seminars can be attended, collaboration with subject and grade level teams, or continued learning opportunities are given to teachers. There's a difference between school-wide and targeted assistance. All Title I school improvement teams will determine if their school will be a school-wide or a targeted assistance program annually. Title I funds can be programmed only after the type of program, school-wide or targeted assistance, is determined. School-wide programs use funds and resources to upgrade the entire educational program of the school in order to raise the academic achievement for all students. Targeted assistance programs use funds for selected children who meet the criteria determined by the school by offering supplementary educational services in order to raise their academic achievement. So that's Title I for Metro National Public Schools, specifically John Overton High School. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email.